two, one. All right, I think we're on. Let me check the group to see if it's up. I think it's up. All right, I think we're up. Uh, let me just refresh my screen. And hey, I'm looking at myself. I froze though. Let's see everybody here. All right, we're we're live. So uh, we got four viewers. Hey guys, what's up? So we got tonight. We got a new mentor on the line. I was able to recruit this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put his name out here. Let me show his name out here. You guys might know him already. He's a big contributor in the group. Uh, part of our Moan Real Estate Moan REI faculty, I guess. So, yeah. What's up, man? Thanks, bro. Thanks for hey, joining. Hey, man. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me, man. This is great. Cool. So, so guys, uh, we have uh, uh, last week. I think we had uh, Matthew was our first mentor, and then I was able to recruit this guy because I know he's got some real estate experience. So, yeah, hey, man, thanks for being a mentor in the group. And just, you know, like I said, this group is all about helping each other out. There's a lot of, uh, I think this group kind of just got kind of slow. So I figured uh, we have a lot of newbies in there too. So I figured, you know, why don't we just bring some mentors out online? You newbies, you know, you guys are so scared to ask questions. I figure you guys might want to talk to them and, you know, ask questions in private. So I figured, you know, I'll get some mentors and you guys can go ahead and contact these guys who's got experience and maybe ask some questions and kind of start your real, real estate career. So <clears throat> I was able to recruit this guy and yeah, let's, let's talk about yourself, man. So how's, what's up? Yeah, How's it going guys? Yeah. Um, so as some of you may know, I, you know, I'm here. I with, uh, I work with uh Cray results here in Minnesota and I've been with actually, a little, back, a little bit about my background is that I've been with um, uh, Crate Results for about, it'll be four years and a couple of months here. So um, I do this full time. Now, in regards to my real estate um, endeavors or investments, um, I started out reading the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, like you know most of us here. And it took me, geez, a little bit over... Uh, 12 years or close to 12 years to actually did something, you know? And so, um, at one point in time, you know, I was working three jobs, you know, I was, uh, uh, I was actually working for Unite Health Group. I was the human resource supervisor over there for, for a while. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in corporate and then at the same time I was working real estate and I was selling life insurance. And so pretty much I have about five hours of sleep. I start at seven get off at 3.30, I'm in St. Paul up until like 11, 12 o'clock at night and then come back and then do some more work. So I did that for about three years. And then at one point in time, um, what got me going was, um, I remember my raise, you know, I was like top five in the, in the, in the, in the department. And then my raise came out to be 30 cents. <laughs> after a whole year of work. So like, holy cow, that's like almost 700 bucks a, a year, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. So then, you know, some of you may have seen it, but if you go to my uh, business page, you'll you'll search under the video tab. Uh, yeah. You'll see the video of me walking out of my job, you know? So, but yeah, a little bit about my experience, um, you know, anything real estate related, I, I know a little bit about, um, you know, I, you know, doing, uh, like aside from the, what kind of deals have you done? Um, what kind? So, you know, I've done where you do a contract for, Oh, not contract for deed, but more like subject to basically, um, uh, where you're pretty much just take over the property. Right. And, um, uh, you know, you, you, you're is subject to the existing finance. Right. So a lot, that's what the term is for. So I've done a few of those. We we've done quick claims before where we pretty much just have the, um, seller signs the title over to the house for me. You know, we done a few of those. Um, I got, I got rental properties. We have, uh, where we got flips like last year we did, uh, we did a quick claim 
And this one um, got us about $85,000 with, with like about two weeks of uh, two months of work. And yeah, that was that was probably one of the better deals. But the thing was, it took us about a year to to get that deal, you know. So, um, yeah. you know, flips, we're doing one right now where we're finishing up and rentals. And then, you know, with the uh, realtor duties that I have as well, too. So. Yeah. Um, everything you, again, you, I live, breathe and everything real estate, even my daughter's <laughs> it's all about real estate. Too, so. That's awesome, man. I see, I mean, I saw pictures. I see, I mean, we see videos of you, you know, and uh, these pictures of you and your, your father and you guys hustling it out, you know, like in the basement and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Man. I'm pretty grateful to have uh, a lot of time spent with my, my dad, you know, and, um, uh, same with my my wife and my kid too. Is that you know this is what real estate can do for for you. You know if you if you just want it bad enough, you you can do it. Yeah. Um, you know people say I don't have the time, but the thing is, if you do it this way, you will have all the time you want with real awesome, estate. Man. So <clears throat> so those of you guys, you know, our second mentor right here. So you guys are interested? You know, we're trying to get you guys, you know, your your real estate career going. You know. Uh, you got this awesome guy here. You can ask questions. I get, we got Matthew. Uh, there's a few more mentors. I need you guys to raise your hand and say, Hey, you want to do it? Or, you know, or if you guys don't do it, I'm going to come after you guys and say, Hey, you know, just help these guys out, you know, all, all these newbies out. So, uh, <laughs> I want to thank you. I want to thank Matthew for stepping up. Um, uh, I, I'm, it's kind of hard for me to figure out how to do this. So if you guys, want i think it's easier um i might need to create some sort of like a funnel or something but you guys post your email um on the comments so that's i think that's a better way of me tracking everybody um and then just moving people along and then i was thinking like uh maybe even like if you guys want you know let's say you do one with yeah and then afterwards you want to hop on to like matthew i think that that should be easy too that should be a problem too, so we can just rotate them. But it's easier for me to track by email than like Facebook names and stuff like that. So I think that changes a lot. So those of you guys are interested, I know you guys were saying you guys were with Matthew. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, just comment your email below, and I'll you know that's a better way of me tracking you guys. So uh, quick question, Chai. Would, would you be okay if I answer some of the questions? Yeah, that, uh, on here. Yeah, so I was gonna um, I was gonna come back and see here what first time i see him wow suit okay let me go here let me go to the <laughs> bottom here what's up hi uh, when, when I, uh, who's gonna show me around uh, what up how did i get here this guy's real deal right here oh i like that one huh mentor me take on your what's your take on your burr strategy yeah let's do that you know all of my rental properties are done through the burr strategy now I did that when I I had some money, but not a lot. Um, so what I did was I used hard money to uh, pick them up and then refinance it out. Now the thing is, you you, you want to make sure that you're you get all your financing in line first before you actually do that. So the burst strategy is actually pretty pretty good because um, I was able to do it and used it with hard money, right? With hard money, and then. Uh, refinance it into a traditional 30 year long. Okay. I mean, that's awesome. Man. I, <coughs> you did, you did the, the other way. I did it through, uh, just normal financing, but hard money. Yeah. I mean, geez, I might need to learn from you on this. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about hard money is, um, again, these have to, you, you have to meet the 70% rule, right? And once you, you meet that 70% rule, uh, when you do refinance it out, you have to make sure you meet 75% because uh, when you refinance it out to a traditional loan, they will only lend or, or loan to value up to 75%. So once once uh, of the appraised value. So once you purchase it, do some light cosmetic fixes, uh, yeah. just to make sure that it, it um, appraises and then you should be good. Well, there you go, guys. I mean... If you guys want to learn a little about the Burr strategy with hard money, he's the guy to go to. Uh, what is this one here? This is what is 
RD. Do you know what that says? RDPD is awesome. <laughs> Not sure. No, I said who said that. Uh, first time I see him without a suit, kind of weird. Hey, yeah, I, it's first time I see you without a suit too, man. Hey, I'm at home, man. I'm about to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me, me, mentor. Yes, I like to mentor. Okay, so we got a couple emails coming in. Can I go in real estate without licensing? Hold on. How about this one here? Um, you so you can. So if if you look at uh, Chai, for example, he doesn't have a license, but he's very successful in what he uh, he does. So you can certainly do that. In my experience, in my opinion, uh, real estate. If you get a license, it will actually accelerate your progress versus where you're constantly have to rely on uh, an agent to help you out. Now, by I say that because then, for example, let's say there's a house that's on the market, right? And you want to go look at the house. Well, who, who do you contact? You contact the agent and then you, you set up a time with the agent, sometimes um, not right away, but sometimes it's maybe even in the evening or even the day after. And by that time, the deals are gone. Okay, that's that's issue number one. Uh, number two is that um, as a realtor, you have access to all the data that you need. So um, right now, I can go into the neighborhood that I, I farm in. Okay, and I I could say, okay, this house is worth this much. And if I was to meet a seller in that area, before I even go into that house and talk to the seller, I already know what my offer price is. I already know what the house will sell for all because I have access to all the data. So mm. um, in my opinion, if you want to uh, accelerate your um, your career as an investor, um, getting a, uh, a license will help you versus hurting you. Mm. Cool. And <clears throat> guys, there's many ways to do it. I mean, I I chose not to do it. There's pros and cons to this because I, I, I suck at taking tests. <laughs> right, so uh, that's why I'm, I can't do this. Uh, I I rather build a team that could do it for me, and I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. So there's different ways. So if you're smart, you know, and you guys you're good at test taking, hey man, that's more benefit to you guys. But I suck at taking tests, so that's my disadvantage. So I leave it to uh, a team that can do it for me. So there's pros and cons to this, and you know, yeah, I, I lose out on deals, but you know, <clears throat> that's fine with me. So uh, there's pros and cons to this. And, and uh, to, to get, piggyback on that too is that think about it this way: I'm a realtor, I'm an investor, right? And if I'm passing a deal on to you, you're just getting a second or third deal, uh, a rate deal. You know what I mean? So I'm getting the best deal, and the ones that I don't want or the one I don't like, well, I, I don't think it's going to make money. Well, obviously, I'm going to pass it on to you. So that's why being the first um is is critical in this place but um and another thing too is that if you're working as a an investor uh, again in my opinion without a license and you don't you're, you're starting out a lot of the seasoned realtors uh won't work with you just because they know that you know you don't have the ability to purchase and you're just getting information so their time is money um, so, you know, that, that's one of the obstacles that, you know, um, a lot of the, the folks or the newer, in, uh, investors run into is that they, they would, you know, run into that situation where, uh, the, the realtor don't want to help me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm new, right? That's why. Oh, okay. All right. So that's your advantage there. Uh, we got one more, one more question right here. Let's see. And then we'll let it go. So there you go. I'm considering liquidating all my small rentals and purchasing a 20 plus unit. What's your tip? What do you What do you have for that? No, oh, you I, see it? I don't see it. There we go. There yeah, we go. I see it. So um, in in a way, that's what I'm doing right now too. Is I'm I'm starting to liquidate all my deals or, or all the properties I have, and go into that. So I I don't have any uh, experiences in uh multi-family that's more than four units or commercial per se so um that's something that I, you know i think i think there's another guy in in here that's um and, and chai is another person to talk to about that too in terms of uh, <laughs> <laughs> bigger uh multi-family units 
okay, I can answer that. Um, that I'm all about numbers, right? So if you can find a 20 unit that makes more than what your 20 plus units are making, wait, wait, it's small my 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 smaller units, my smaller rentals, then I say go for it. But right now, I don't see these apartment units being really um, uh, making money more than single family or or what I do is vacation rentals. So that's why I'm seeing. So if you can find numbers, I mean, it's all about the numbers. If you find numbers that work out and you sell all of them, and which is going to take, you know, you will have to do them all at the same time. Maybe 1031 exchange them out somehow or whatever. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty hard. But uh if you can find something and lock in a deal that has good good numbers, then I say go for it. Uh I'd rather do big deals like this too now, but uh right now I'm not seeing any good deals. That's my answer. So what's what's up? That's uh your daughter there, right? That's my little daughter. <laughs> say hi to everybody, honey. Hi. And and here here's um here's another thing too is like, you know, I, I appreciate Chai, you know, um having me on here. Um the thing is I don't I don't know much guys, but you know, I'm happy to share and help anyone who's willing to put in the work and willing to uh per se not reinvent the wheel. Like work on what's working already. And, you know, actually put in the work, you know what I mean? So I'm willing to help anyone who's willing to do that. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to waste anyone's time, you know, so if, if you're not really committed to doing that, um, I'll say, you know, learn a little bit more. And then once you're committed and say, hey, you know what, um, I'm going to do it. So here's the thing is that, you know, when, when I work with uh, my mentors, if they say, hey, yeah, jump, you know, I don't ask them why, you know, I, I jump I, I say, how high do you want me to jump? You know, so that's how, uh, and those are the people that I want to work with is that if, if you're ready to go, Hey, go, you know, just let me know. That's right, guys. Let's not waste each other's time. <clears throat> let's go ahead. And, uh, when you're ready, let's go ahead and contact, uh, posting your emails below so we can reach out to you and try to help you out. But, uh, yeah, let's not waste each other's time. Um, if you like, we still have the group, right? So if you have questions, you can still post your questions inside the group, but, uh, to seek a mentor, you're you're taking up his time, you know, his time away from his daughter, his family, his work, you know, stuff like that. But you know, he's willing to offer that small time he's got to help each other out. Because, like I said, we're all family here, so uh, let's not waste each other's time. All right, so let's let's end this here. Hey, yeah, thanks for being our number two mentor. I'm looking for other mentors. You know who you guys are. You guys know who you guys are. Come on, raise your hands and uh, contact me. Uh, if not, I'll reach out to you guys. But uh, guys, uh, put your email below, and then we'll rotate. Uh, we'll start rotating these uh, these mentorships uh, through. So hey, yeah, hey, appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Talk to All you right. Later. All right, bye, guys. Bye.